Christ taught his disciples that they serve God by serving their neighbor. But it seems that the federal government disagrees. I'm Cardinal Donald Worrell, Archbishop of Washington. You may have heard about the Health and Human Services mandate, which redefines religious ministry and requires religious institutions to pay for drugs and procedures that violate their beliefs. The Archdiocese of Washington, together with its Catholic Charities, Archbishop Carroll High School, the Consortium of Catholic Academies, and the Catholic University of America has joined dozens of separate Catholic dioceses, universities, and social service institutions across the country in filing lawsuits challenging this unprecedented mandate. The church has filed this lawsuit to preserve our religious freedom and our ability to serve the public. This is not about access to contraception. Contraception is widely available, accessible, and affordable. This is about what is and is not a religious institution. In a new and controversial shift, this mandate limits the definition of a religious institution to essentially what takes place inside the four walls of a church. It does not consider an organization to be religious if it serves or employs people of other faiths. Catholic organizations serve more people, regardless of their faith, than any other non-governmental service provider in Washington. Under the mandate, even the work of Mother Teresa wouldn't be qualified as religious. Contrary to America's great tradition of religious freedom, embodied in the First Amendment, Catholic institutions will now be forced to act against their conscience and provide coverage for drugs and procedures they believe are morally wrong simply because they serve people of all faiths or no faith. Equally. To preserve our First Amendment rights, all the administration has to do is continue the long-standing practice of recognizing that our schools, our hospitals, and our charities are all part of the mission of the church. Honoring the religious nature of these organizations in no way denies women access to contraception. The church will continue to defend this first freedom guaranteed by the Constitution, freedom of religion. I hope you too will speak up in defense of this cherished